Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and I am one of the co-presidents of Rowan University's 3D Printing Club. Today I'm going to show you how to create a personalized shape box in Onshape. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you the model that we're doing. So this is what it looks like. It's really great for desk organizing. So if you wanna put your paper clips or staples somewhere, you can use this. You can also put your jewelry in it. That's what I use mine for. So lots of different purposes for our shape box. And one other thing that I wanna point out, you do not have to make this a heart. You can make it a square, a star, a triangle, whatever floats your boat. All right, so let's get started. The first step, of course, is to go to onshape.com. Um, if you are new to Onshape, you can create an account with your education credentials. So that would be your Rowan email address. And it will ask you a couple questions. It'll ask you to verify your email address, and then you'll be all ready to go. So when you finally get to this page in Onshape, which is your homepage, you'll see all the models that you've done in the past. And it also allows you to create new models. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first step is to come over to this create button, hit the down arrow and then select new document. And when you do that, it's going to ask you to name it. I'm going to name mine shape box and then you're good to go. All right, so we have our shape box document, but before we do that, we have to think about what shape we want to make. So I showed you how to make a heart. I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to make a square, a star or a triangle, you can just create the first shape of whatever you want to do in the first sketch. So I'll show you how to do the heart, but just keep in mind, you can do whatever you want for this part. To create the heart, usually what I like to do is trace out a heart from an image online. Uh, that's just because if you want really, really great precision, um, usually you can get that from tracing. So I'm going to just type in heart clip art. Yeah, when I do my hearts and on shape, sometimes they get messed up when I'm extruding or when I'm doing other sketches on top of them. So that's why I like to do my heart from Google or tracing over an image. So when you find the picture that you like, you're just going to save it as something to your computer. All right, and then you're gonna go back over to Onshape, back to your homepage of Onshape, I should say. And you're going to, again, come over to this create button, hit that down arrow and then hit import files. And then you can find the image that you created wherever you saved it. I believe mine is under downloads. Yep. And then you should notice it loading up as the first document that you have here or the first thing that you have. All right, so I see my heart PNG. So I'm gonna go back into my shape box document that I just created. And now I'm ready to sketch. All right, so when I first open a document, I like to center myself out. So I'm gonna go over to the front plane and just put my three-dimensional cube in just a 2D view there. I'm going to hit the sketch button and then select my front plane. And now notice that my tools at the top are changed. We are now in the sketch mode and we are ready to begin our sketch. Okay, so first things first, we have to get our image of our heart in our plane here. So to do that, we're gonna come over to this paper looking icon, hit that down arrow, and there should be an image that says insert image. I'm gonna to go to other documents from here my on shape, and then my heart is the first thing that pops up. So I'm going to click on that twice, and then you'll notice that your cursor turns into a plus. So when you see that, you know that you are ready to click and drag, and you can make that heart as big as you'd like it because we can dimension it. Also, once you place your heart down, feel free to click and drag the side to move it around inside of your plane there. So just to see how big my heart is right now, it's about four inches. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, five inches there. And yep, that's about right. Let's see how big this is, five by 5.3. That's fine by me. Okay, so just remember the size of your image here or your shape is going to be the size of the width of your box. So if you wanna make it bigger, just make sure that you increase the size of your, your first sketch there. All right, so I have my heart. I'm going to sketch it. If you are doing a different shape, you can just use the shape tools that Onshape gives you, or you can use the line tool to create whatever you would like. I think this is probably one of the hardest steps of this model. So don't worry if this is giving you some trouble, it's gonna get easier after this.
Another way that you can do this is using that mirror tool. So if you do that, you will only have to model or sketch over one half of the heart because you'll be able to mirror the other side over. I'm just remembering this now. If I knew about this or if I remembered this when I was first beginning the model, I would have showed you how to do the mirror tool. Um, but that's something that you can do if you wanna make this a little bit easier. So I'm gonna trim off my extra section here and then my heart is complete. Now, one thing to keep in mind, um, if you are making a heart box and you have the point at the end of the heart, that point is not gonna be enough to support the rest of your heart in terms of standing up and staying upright. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut off the bottom of my heart here. I'm just gonna draw a line right through here so that my heart is able to rest on a, a bigger surface area there so it won't topple over, it'll be more stable. So now I'm just gonna cut away at these extra lines here. All right. All right, now I have my model all ready to go. All right, so I'm going to hit my green check mark. And now what I'm going to do is extrude my heart. So it's going to ask me to select the region to extrude. I'm just going to place my cursor over my heart. It should turn yellow. And then I'm going to select three millimeters here. There we go. And hit that green check mark. If you take your right clicker and you just kind of move your mouse around, you can see that now we have a heart and it is 3D. Awesome. All right, so once we have this or once your shape is completed, whatever you chose to do, now what we are going to do is create a new plane. So the plane button, make sure that you are out of sketch mode. Um, if you're in sketch mode, I'll just show you that the tools up here are different. We wanna make sure that we click our green check mark and we are out of that so that we can see these new tools here. So if you go all the way over to the right, you'll see this button right here that kind of looks like a rectangle with a square in the right corner. So we're gonna click on that and it's going to ask us to select an entity to make our plane on top of. So I'm just gonna click the base of extrude one. And if you take your right clicker and you kind of turn, you can see that there is another plane that is just sticking out right in front of your, your front plane there. All right. And one inch is good. Um, if you want to make your box a little bit wider, you can do two inches. Um, remember that we are going to be designing our heart with this plane in the middle. So you're going to have one inch on one side and one inch on the other. So if you have one inch as an offset distance, your box is going to be two inches wide. So if you wanted to do something a little bit bigger than that, you know that whatever you're doing here is going to be multiplied by two for your total distance. All right, so I'm happy with my one inch, so I'm gonna hit my green check mark there. And now we have our plane, awesome. So now what we're going to do, we're going to stay out of sketch mode, so make sure that you still see these tools up here. We are going to mirror this model of the part that we have right here onto our other plane. So the mirror section, or the mirror tool, I should say, is right here, kind of toward the right side, and the entity that we're going to mirror is our heart right here. So just click on that, and then the mirror plane is going to be plane one. Let's see if I can select that. There we go. Okay, and notice that we have a heart that is two inches away from our other heart, which is awesome. All right, so we're done with the mirror, so we can click our green check mark here. So yeah, we're starting to see what our box is gonna look like. Now what we just need to do is make some walls to our box. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So to make the wall, the first thing that you're going to do is create another sketch. We're going to sketch on top of this heart right here. And what you're going to do is just take your line tool and just kind of create a border just like this. It can be kind of like a V looking shape and just kind of go on the outside of your heart perimeter there. So something like that is perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude that. So we're done with the sketch. You can hit your green check mark there. And the extrude button is the two boxes right next to sketch. So you're gonna click on that and then you're going to click on your little V that you just made. So once you click on that and you kind of move your model around using the right clicker, you'll see that there's an arrow that's connected to the extrude. So what you can do is just drag this arrow until you're overlapping with your other heart. And it should be probably 2.2 inches. I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna do 2.2. So whatever you decided for your total length, you could just put 0.2 after that, just to make sure that it overlaps. And you're done. You can click your green check mark there. And now you have your walls of your box, which is awesome. Now, if you wanted to make your box a little, or your walls a little bit taller, you can totally do that. You just have to change this sketch here just to make it go up a little bit higher. 
um, whatever you want to do, this is your box model, however you want to do it, it's perfect. Okay, so I have my walls all set. Now what I'm going to do is personalize. So I'm going to do this on this side of my heart right here. So I'm going to center myself out. The first thing, as always, right, is to do a new sketch. So I'm going to sketch right on top of this base of my extrusion here. And the first thing that I want to do is kind of make an outline of my heart. Um, you know what, this V that we have here is really distracting. So what I'm going to do is come over to sketch two. Um, oh, okay. So my eyeball is already crossed out. Let's see if I can cross out anything else here. No. All right. So usually if you see the eyeball next to a sketch, um, if there's an, a line through it, that means that it's not visible. So I'll just show you that if I take my eye off of sketch one, that means we could see the original image that we did. So if I wanna hide that, I can just put an X over my eye. Uh, it seems like this is not going away. I think that's because we have an extrusion here that's not actually showing me the sketch, but just wanted to see if I could do that. All right, so we'll keep on going. I'm sorry for that little detour. Um, now what we're going to do with our third sketch is we're just going to offset the lines of our heart so that we can have a little outline on our box. So I just went to the offset tool, which is right up here. And then I clicked inside of my heart. And you can kind of see here that there's an outline of the perimeter of the heart. So if you're happy with where that is, you can just hit enter. Oh man, okay, let's work on this a little bit. <laughs> All right, so one other way that you can do this is by clicking on individual lines, and that might be a better way. So I'm gonna try that instead of just doing the whole model at once. So I'm gonna go up again to my offset tool. And I'm just going to select each of the lines. So notice I did this line and I can see kind of a line that's just the same, just a little bit more inside of our heart there. I'm gonna click enter to solidify that line and 0.25 inches is perfect. Okay, same thing with this line. Now I'm gonna take my arrow and I'm gonna drag it up, hit enter and then 0 0.25, perfect. And then one more time for this side, yep, 0.25. All right, now I see what the issue was. So our lines were not overlapping when we did the offset of the whole model. So if you have the same issue with your model, you can just take your line tool and kind of extend your lines here. Oops, there we go. Yep, and these should be fine. So once you do that, you can just cut off the extra edges there. And I'll do that on the bottom as well. And perfect. All right, cool. So once you have that, you're done with your sketch. So you can click that green check mark. And again, we're going to extrude what we just did here. And that is going to be 0 0.01 inches. Perfect. Hit that green check mark. And if you wanted to take a look, you can see that this is a little bit higher up than the rest of the model there, which is exactly what we want. All right. Now, the last part to personalizing your box is to do yet another sketch on top of what we just did. And you can put your name, you can put whatever you want on there, whatever saying you would like to put on. Um, and what I like to do is just put my text box right in the middle. And then I believe that there, yeah, there's a way that you can just move it around if you want to recenter it there. I'm going to put my name on it. Here we go. All right. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can move this down a little bit. Perfect. All right. So I have my name on there. And I'm done with the sketch, so I can click my green check mark. And now what I'll do is extrude my name, the same thing that we extruded the, the outside of the heart there, which is 0 0.1 inches, once I select all the letters here. There we go. Hit that green check mark, and my name's extruded. And at this point, if you wanted to add a little symbol, like this one here has a, a gear, you can do that. I just did the same thing that I had originally done for the heart. I took a model or an image off of Google. I uploaded it and I traced over it to do my gear. You can do that if you would like to, or you can just put your letters from your sketch. That's completely up to you. But at the end of this whole process, this is what your box should look like. Um, great model, lots of different ways that you can use it and a great way to uh, exercise your creativity, right? Once you have your model completed like this and you want to export it, all you have to do is come down here to the area where it says Part Studio 1 and just right click over that. The last option there is Export, so you can click on that 
And then it's going to give you a couple options. So the first thing is the name of the file. So you want to change that to your last name. Oops. Underscore shape box. You can leave this as STL. And if it's not an STL, I believe it's the last option. You can keep this one as binary. Units should always be in millimeters. And then you can keep these to the same. Hit that OK button, and then your model is going to download. And then if you are uploading this to our Google Form submission system, all you have to do is just import that STL file and you're set. Thank you so much for doing this model with us tonight. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out all of our other models. We have a ton of fun things and fun ways to learn about Onshape, and we hope to see you soon. Take care.